students i am ishan trivedi assistant professor civil engineering department welcome you in the video lecture series today we are going to discuss about principles of building plan topics to be covered in these sessions are factors influencing planning of building principles of building planning which are aspect prospect privacy ruminates grouping circulation flexibility elegance economic practical consideration and sanitation so in this session among these principle of building planning i am going to teach you aspect prospect and privacy while planning and designing a building the first thought of an architect is about general scope of the proposed building the general scope means the purpose of the intended building and the facilities provided to occupants to achieve the said purpose the planning of the building is grouping of assembling and arranging various components of a building in a systematic manner so as to form a meaningful and homogeneous structure to meet its functional purpose so based on that first understand the factors influencing the building planning first is the functional requirement of a building first of all we need to understand which type of building we are going to construct in this industry or in this real estate industries we have public building commercial building industrial building institutional building hazardous storage so we have varieties of buildings based on the occupancy so first of all we need to clear the intent of or the purpose of the building which are going to serve after completion of building so first is the functional requirement of a building next is shape and size of plot once we determine the type of building then we have to look at the size and shape of a plot at a particular site based on that the final design has been done next is topography once we finalize the shape and size of the plot the topography will be maintained in some of the cases there may not have any possibility that we always have firm ground there may be undulation or contours in the ground so the topography can be leveled or sloping if cutting is required we cut that excessive part if filling is requirement in any depression then we fill it and form or level the surface next is climatic condition each and every building design is based on the climatic condition based on climatic condition the orientation of a building has been done and various aspect and feature has been introduced so that we can have advantage of sun and wind and we can eliminate heat at certain points so to know the climatic condition is major function of any building plan next is natural and artificial surroundings of a site based on the natural surroundings the beneficiary of building can be achieved for example cliff area seashore area the facing towards river bank or river or any ocean or in a hilly area so that you can enhance or you can achieve the surroundings beauty and at last the building bylaws building bylaws is framed by local town planning authority based on requirement of labor manpower and homogeneous growth of a town so that proper integrity of various town planning elements can be achieved so these are the factors which are influencing the planning of a building before going to the principle of building planning we need to understand why this principle has been adopted as a guideline in residential building so while planning a building the principle of planning should be considered in close association with the theoretical and practical aspect all the principles may not be rigidly possible to adopt and there should be some scope of flexibility in certainly certain cases 
we have seen that by laws or certain rules we have to adopt as it has been given by the authority or government agency but this principle of building planning are not rigidly enforced so that in any of the condition i have to opt that there is a flexibility so that based on our requirement we can modify and we can change based on our requirement the enunciation of the principle should be done in broader line and may not be practically possible to imply all those principle to a particular class of a building but in this industry the majority of the buildings are of residential building and therefore this principle guidelines made for such buildings so let us start with the principle of building planning and the first element is aspect aspect is the manner of arrangement of doors and windows of the external walls of the building to draw the maximum advantage of weather elements such as sun and wind means we are going to arrange our doors and windows in a such a way that we can have maximum benefit of natural phenomenon a room which receives the light and air from a particular direction is said to be called aspect of that particular direction for example if i place a kitchen in its direction then in the morning if i open the window and i receive sunlight in the kitchen so that it kills the germs and bacteria which are in the kitchen can be killed and that's why we can have the benefit of the natural sunlight thus arrangement of kitchen in east direction that is called the aspect of that particular direction then it also influence the appearance of the building it is not only provide comforts but it requisite from the hygienic point of view in building elements such as kitchen store room bedroom living room where the intensity of light would vary and based on that the aspect of each component of a building is been determined so let us study those aspect of that particular direction so let us start with a bedroom the suitable aspect for bedroom is north west to west to south west in this map you can say the bedroom has been provided from north west to west and west to south west so that one can receive the plentiful of breeze in summer it has been said that in our tropical region like india we receives cool breeze from west direction in the evening so by placing bedroom in that west direction we can enjoy cool breeze next is kitchen the suitable aspect for kitchen is east or rarely north east as i said earlier it purifies the air in the morning and it should be well illuminated and cool in afternoon so in morning i require sunlight whereas in noon and afternoon the light will be minimized and the temperature of kitchen will be reduced so we we will place a kitchen in east or rarely northeast next is a dining dining area is placed from southeast to south to southwest so from southeast to south to southwest so that it is nearer to the kitchen so it will be easy to serve and the place is cool and less illuminated next is a drawing room the drawing room is placed at southeast to south and southwest to west direction so from south east to south west to west so this is the range of placing the drawing room from south east to west so that there will be adequate natural light during winter and prevent the sun during summer this entirely has been designed in a such a way that in indian condition this would be applied next is reading and study room study room and reading area is placed near to the north to northwest so that light from north is 
being diffused and evenly distributed among the room next is a store room store room is placed at northwest to north to north east here you can see northwest to north to north east so that we can place our grocery in dark and cool room so these are the influencing factor of building component such as bed kitchen dining drawing room study room and store room now let us understand second principle of building planning that is prospect the prospect is to enrich the outside view from inner side of a room how we can have the benefit of the outer side or you can say it is the elevation or end view which created by exposing the better construction and better looking portions and at the same time concealing from the view any undesirable ones so if i have a benefit of a natural scenery then i will put a window so that i can enjoy the outside view best desirable view can be achieved by locating the doors and windows in the outer wall by providing a bay window you can have the benefit of three side vision you can see here by providing bay window you can have front and the either side view in totality you can achieve the better view of outside the bay window can be of square rectangle circular so in other way it also beautify or enhance the building itself prospect is not make our outer appearance attractive but also maintain the quality such as comfort cheerfulness security labor saving and up to dateness the outside appearance can be achieved by attractive planning providing bay window and utilization of good landscape and seascapes if i found undesirable view or the next of my building is some dampness or slum is there i will simply conceal that view and i am not going to provide any window facing towards that view so based on security purpose or based on pleasing appearance purpose prospect serves better building plan next is privacy privacy is isolation of an individual or a couple or a group from the rest of the inmates who are living in the house it is essential for bathroom water closet and bedroom for site purpose whereas for office room and study room it is restricted by sight and noise as well privacy can be achieved by two ways first is internal privacy which is the privacy within the building itself whereas the second is external privacy where the privacy of a whole building with reference to the surrounding buildings now let us study the internal privacy the internal privacy can be achieved by various elements in the building itself so the first is arranging room in proper grouping like to achieve privacy in a bedroom i will provide internal access to bathroom that is also called privacy so that is called master bedroom then second is careful planning of entrance and circulation space next is better deposition of doors and windows and mode of their hanging here you can see if a person is standing just at entry point when the door is centrally located he can visualize the entire room and thus the privacy is destroyed so one can have the vision of more than 70 percent age of room and that is called exposed area whereas area of privacy is at the both end and it has been divided and we get lesser privacy area at the same time if i provide a corner door with corner side hanging i will get lesser exposed area and more privacy area than the central one but if i provide a corner door with better mode of hanging shutters in a such a way that 
I can have a maximum benefit of area of privacy and I will get maximum area of privacy and there will be lesser exposed area. Fourth is providing curtain walls, louvers for shutters and ventilators. Even by providing curtain instead of doors, you can achieve privacy. In doors, you can provide louvers. The aim of providing louvers is to eliminate the straight vision. Louvers are of slant shape or slant rectangle placed in a such a way that one cannot see from outside. And the last is providing buffer area between the other rooms and bedrooms. For example, in urban area, you have seen that the residential unit has been designed like providing a kitchen and a living room together without any providing a door or a wall. So it is exposed. But if I design a furniture in a such a way that one can have minimum vision from, from living room to kitchen. So by providing certain buffer area and furniture arrangement in a such a way that you can achieve the internal privacy. Now let us study the external privacy. External privacy can be achieved by providing compound wall to the height of 1.35 meter to 1.5 meter above the adjacent road level. It is one of the easiest way to achieve external privacy. Second is construction of porch and portico at the main entrance. Porch and portico is provided at hotels and in certain government buildings. Next is planting trees along the compound walls which act as sound barriers and sight barrier as well. It is also one of the easiest way to achieve the privacy. External privacy can be achieved by planting a trees in the periphery of a building and in the compound wall and the building premises so that one cannot have a straight vision from outside to inside the building. And if a building is situated on main road then this also helps in reducing the noise level. And the last is providing ground glass windows and ventilators. They have advantage of offering privacy as well as air circulation. So this is what the privacy of a building plan. I'm ending this session here. I hope you have learned regarding three principles of building planning that is of aspect, prospect and privacy. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.